Hello Sagittarius singles and welcome to the tarot room. Sagis, sit down, grab a seat, get comfortable, grab some hot chocolate or some coffee if you want and let's talk about your love life because singles we're going to see who's coming towards you, what's coming towards you and what you need to know in the next couple of weeks. So let's see what's going down. Spirit guides, what's going on with Sagittarius singles? What do they need to know? Who's coming towards them? What's coming towards them? If there's no love or if it's an ex, I apologize in advance. I cannot control what comes out of the cards. <laughs> Okay, so stay optimistic about your love life. So positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And this could be the one. So you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Interesting, okay. So let's see what's going on. Who is this person? Are they about to meet them? Is it hidden? Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And Sag, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. So if you want one, the link is in the description box below. Oh, look at this. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Cups in reverse. Well, this is like serious disappointment where love is concerned. You do not like the options that are, that, ah, wants me to take that. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. But you're willing to wait. Look at him looking over there. I ain't, I ain't settling for nothing. I'll wait for the right person. I, I got time. I got time. Okay. So the Four Swords in reverse. I think that's the best part of being a Sag is we're good being single, so we don't really rush into those relationships we don't need to rush into, right? <laughs> we like our freedom. So the Four Swords in reverse, the Seven of Wands in reverse, oh, the High Priestess, and the Ace of Cups in reverse. That's what I thought. And the Two of Swords. Here's the thing, Cap, or sorry, 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 Sag. Could be dealing with Capricorn. I was looking at that Knight of Pentacles. Um, they're pretty slow movers. So here's the situation that you face. So with the high priestess here and the ace of cups in reverse, um, there's somebody that has a secret crush on you. You have a little bit of a secret admirer with the two of swords. I feel like they have been stone cold. You have no idea that this person has feelings for you and they got a good poker face. Um, I feel like you've been, you don't even see them. He's not even looking down at this high priestess. He's looking in there at the disappointment thinking, what is wrong with these people that I've encountered in my life? And why do I keep attracting those stupid people in my life? <laughs> I'm ready to attract something different. Um, the Four of Swords in reverse. So let's see what this action is. Let's see if this is you or if it's under the Two of Swords. Yeah, so this person, mm, there's the world. So this person might be coming to talk to you here or express their feelings or let you know. I just saw the star. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but, or an Earth sign, Taurus or Capricorn, potentially a Pisces too, but four swords in reverse. What is this for Sag single spirit guides? I got a hair stuck there. Hold on, Sag, because it's like, that's annoying. <laughs> okay, hold on. It's winter. I shouldn't be shedding. So the seven of, or the eight of pentacles, the three of pentacles in reverse, and the moon in reverse. There is more secrets. The high priestess in the moon. Yeah, definitely got yourself a secret admirer here. No surprise, no surprise. There's the Five of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, Six of Cups. So they um they don't want you to be single. They want to kind of, um, they think you're their soulmate here, Sag. You got someone who really does love you. They consider you their soulmate, um, but you don't see them. They want to work on this with you. But again, there's the Three of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you don't even see them. So there's the Ace of Wands in reverse, and there's the Nine of Wands, the King of Pentacles. Um, this person's very stable. They're, they got, um, they want to offer you stability. So what is the Seven of Wands in reverse? What do you want to say that about, Sag? Oh, before we get there. No, we'll ask this first, then we'll get there. Seven of Wands in reverse. What is that, Sag? The Devil in reverse. Eight of Swords. Oh, there's that king. Oh, he had to come out, baby. He just had to come. And the Queen of Swords. They're waiting for you to release your attachment to the past. So this is like a friend or somebody that you know um, in your life, Sag, that, that, that is in love with you. Like, I'm not even going to say has a crush. They're in love with you. That's what I'm hearing. But they're waiting for you to, maybe you have to release a King of Pentacles from the past. Um, but there's somebody that you need to release and they're stressing. Like, they're like, like, Sag, hurry up and release this person, please. Hurry up and because I, I remember I said he's still over there looking at that disappointment. Make the choice to move forward because this person wants you to choose them. But there's a blockage here. Okay, so I got two questions we're going to find out here, Sag Singles. First of all, there's a Ten of Swords. So you might not be fully over some of these people from the past. Or you might just be frustrated or there's they're still on your mind or whatever because I keep noting that. But 
How is Sagittarius going to know who this person is that has a crush on them or is in love with them and wants to be with them? So we got ourselves. What did they give us here? The Three of Swords and Death. The Three of Pentacles in reverse. It could be somebody from work. Definitely could be somebody at your job, your place of employment. Um, it could be a Scorpio. But again, this is somebody who is waiting for you to get over something. So this is uh, definitely could be someone from a place of work here, uh, Sag, or somebody you met at work or through friends from work, but there's some kind of work relationship <laughs> with this person. They know that you're not like, they know that you're looking back at that and they're waiting for you to get on. Yeah, they're ready. They're, they're ready now though. They're frustrated. This person's ready for you. Let me tell you, let's see if they're going to do anything. So the Ace of Cups in reverse with the High Priestess. Are they doing anything here in the next couple weeks? Are they still staying silent here for Sag Spirit Guides? Ten of Wands, they're waiting. They don't think this is the right time to express themselves. So, uh, oh, there you are. <laughs> they're waiting for you to drop this past. So what is the blockage here then? Let me grab a different deck. What is the blockage for Sag? What is this pentacles looking back? Or sorry, what is this disappointment? What is this blockage for the singles? What do you want to say? About that, it's come up a few times. Talk to the Sagittarius single spirit guys. What's that block? Oh, I just bent my card. No, no. Okay, hold on. So the world in reverse. Oh, okay. Uh, the seven of pentacles in reverse. The six of wands. And the hierophant in reverse. And the bottom, we have the nine of wands. You're, um, hmm, sad, don't, singles. <laughs> okay, so you're, um, what they want to say is it's, you feel, like with the world in reverse and the seven of pentacles in reverse, it's like you're regretting things. You feel like it was a waste of time. You don't know why I gave it so much attention. Was it worth this? I feel like you're in this, like, this energy of regret with somebody or something. It's like, why did I give them so much attention? Why did I, why did I, I feel like there's, like, some kind of, um, you feel like you wasted your time. Maybe you lost money. Maybe you shared finances with this person. Um, but there's some kind of loss here with this person that has got you, um, you're giving too much attention to it. Um, they want you to surrender <laughs> to whatever that loss was, whatever that was that happened. Um, because you have unfinished business. So it's like, maybe you feel like they owe you something or um, something along those lines, but they do. I don't see you're getting it. What they want to say here is it's time to release that um, and just accept whatever that is that you feel that you're owed or that you're not over or that you feel you wasted. Um, it's never a waste of time and it's never truly a loss. First of all, if anything belongs to us, we just let the universe know we want it back and the universe will give it back to us in due time with proper manifestation in a very magical way. But a lot of times it's just lessons to be learned. And with the six of wands here, you're on top of that lesson. You're the victor in the situation, Sag, whether you see it or not. So, um, it's about seeing that, that with the Hierophant in reverse, this past, um, they want you to just understand that. That's what they want to say. There's the Knight of Swords in reverse. They don't want you to think about it, to sweat about it, to worry about it. Um, because you can't change the past. You can only change the way that you react. The Knight of the Nine of Wands in this deck is all about surrendering to what is, right? Que sera, sera. Whatever is be, will be, will be. I can't change it. I can't do anything. So I'm surrendering to the universe. But in a lot of the other decks, he's the wounded warrior. But he's going forward despite those wounds. And I feel like there's this, this there's the king of cups. They want you to, yeah. So they really want you to move past it because there's somebody here that I think has potential, but you're not seeing them. Yeah, there's the fool. Because you're focused on the, oh my God. The judgment, the ten of cups, and the fool. This person wants to give you everything, Sag. They want to, they, judgment, they think, like, this person thinks you're their soulmate. They want to give you everything. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> the fool, the ten of cups, and judgment. So, damn. Like, they see a very happy and long life with you. That's what they want. But I don't see them doing nothing here but staying secret and staying quiet. There's the page of cups, though. So, let's see what, uh, let's see what oracles they want to say. And we'll see where you are in a month. But right now, I see them holding back. I see you trying to um forgive forget move on from something in the past here um okay what is what does sag singles need to surrender to for this person to confess their feelings so they know who it is joy 
I think Kathy's got this one too. So a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. So indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and the easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. And okay, the lesson is loneliness. I know that I am never alone. Let's get your energy oracle message here, singles. What do you want to say? What do you want to say, spirit guides? Oh. Envy, endure to personal healing and happiness. All tied up. Okay. There is something that you did definitely lost something. Like, let's say you went through a divorce. They got, I don't know, they got the car or some, there's some kind of loss here that you experience with this past person here, Sag. Um, but again, it's hmm, like door to personal healing and happiness with envy. It's about appreciating what we have and understanding that if we did lose something that belonged to us, it will be returned the way we just have to let the universe know we want it back. <laughs> um, but if it didn't truly belong to us, then it won't come back. So it's all about appreciating the little things, appreciating what you have. Instead of looking at things with this negative perspective, looking at it through the positive, this lady can just walk through the, this door to the golden city, but she's not. She's not appreciating that. She just has to walk through the door. She's sitting here saying, why isn't the golden city right in front of me? Ha <laughs> ha. So that is what's preventing her from healing. That's keeping her trapped. That's keeping her stuck. That's keeping her in the past. So it's really about appreciating what happened and appreciating the lesson that can be learned from that instead of saying, why did this happen to me? Universe, why did this happen for me? And seeing the value in yourself. Um, and that's when the healing truly begins. And I feel like that's what this person's waiting for is, I do believe this is a very patient person as well. It's got the Knight of Pentacles there, but um, this is a message for you, Sag, to appreciate what you have and never compare yourself to anyone else. But whatever was taken, whatever what was lost... Um, it's about appreciating what you do have and not focusing on what you lost. And once we show that appreciation and value the things that we do have, we, we increase our frequency, but we also go on that vibration where the universe continues to shower us because we're showing appreciation. Um, so that's what they want to say there. Let's get your potential. No, I want to see what you need to let go of first. One moment. Oh, there's a few. What do they want to say here? So your glass is always refillable. Flow like water instead of holding on to perceptions. <laughs> That's exactly that. Overcome the desire to tame your wildness. Teach your mind to follow your heart. And in all honesty, I don't ever think I've seen that card come out in all the... I think I bought these like seven or eight months ago. Um, so reach, stretch, breathe, believe. What can you let go of to feel maximum joy? And let, get the, let go of the idea that you need to have anything other than happiness in your life. And again, that brings us back to that principle of appreciation. But ultimately, Sag, in order to heal, we have to have um, forgiveness. Forgiveness for ourselves, forgiveness for others, forgiving ourselves for letting others do that, but forgiveness for whatever that loss was. And once you can truly forgive and appreciate where you are, um, that's when things get returned and new cycles come upon you and this secret admirer exposes themselves. We got a little bit off from the love because we don't see love here in the next week or two. So let's see if this person does expose themselves. And that kind of sounds perverted, but I mean, let's say... If they want to come forward in the next couple of weeks, we don't want any perverts, moon and year or anything here. Um, let me rephrase it. So let's see. Let's get your potential outcome. I switched the decks. They didn't want that one. So let's see. What's the potential outcome here? So potential because there's always free will and outcome. Where are you in a, in a month? Does this person come forward? Do they let you know? Do they start showing you signs? Does someone else come forward? You're the Sag. There's probably other people. So the two of wands in reverse. Seven of pentacles in reverse. The hermit, he came out like interesting, but he's, he's upright because he's tilted more to the top. So hold on here. What else we got? Let's get all these cards out. Let's make room for all these bad boys. So the hermit, six of cups in reverse, the three of wands in reverse, the four of cups. Ooh, and the wheel of fortune is in reverse with the star in reverse. So there's definitely still some healing here taking place. With regards to that king of pentacles, this person might have been wealthier. They might have stole from you or something. I don't know. Something to do with that. Um, or this could be um, the person at work that's got their eye on you. <laughs> for some of you, for me to do that, that's what that is too. So they're still watching you. They're still keeping an eye on you. They could be a boss. Um, but they're waiting for you to heal. It's not the right time. Um, they're staying silent. <sighs> So the two of wands, seven of pentacles in reverse, they don't want to come forward at the wrong time and ruin things with you. The three of wands in reverse with the four of cups. You see them though, Sag. You know who this is. 
you see them. What do you want to say about that? Because now I'm questioning, like, why does Sag need to know they have a secret admirer? <laughs> what was the point of this reading, Spirit Guys? What do they need to know about this? Why are you... The point of it... All right. Okay. Okay. They, they just told me the point of it, Sagittarius, is that sometimes there's just not always love in our lives. Sometimes we have to work on ourselves and you're at that point where you're doing singles that, that I'm collecting and tapping into. You're working on yourself, creating that balance. You're coming to peace with your past. Like I said, there's just these disappointments here. Um, and this person, when they do come through, I feel like it's going to be something real. But right now is not the right time. They're no fool. They're very, very intelligent, very smart, very successful. Um, they're in your life. I do feel like there's someone from work or something, but they're making the choice to hold back. They're watching you. But I feel like you just have um, a lot on your plate and you're moving past that. There is some kind of, yeah, the Knight of Cups in reverse. They don't feel like you can give to them. Um, there's a two, there's the, damn. You see as the empress, this person really likes you, Sag, but ah, there they are staying silent. <laughs> so they're just going to continue to watch as you're going through some kind of healing, some kind of transition, dropping whatever that loss, that disappointment was, and they'll come forward when the time's right. Um, but is it in the next couple of weeks and months? I don't see that. I just see you healing, removing the baggage um, and coming to terms with this loss that you had. But like this card says, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So you've already met them. They're already in your life. It's just not the right time for you and them. Um, so that's what I have. I <laughs> hope you enjoyed your reading. I'm sorry that there's not some passionate lovemaking here in the next few weeks with your soulmate. But sometimes we're at that point where we're just going through our growth and our lessons. So if you like my style, Sag, please like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate the support. Let's get your final message here. To experience peace does not mean your life is always blissful. It means you're capable of tapping into a blissful state amidst the normal chaos of a hectic life. So what were some ways you experienced peace during the chaos today? Um, and that's what I have, Sag. I truly wish you the best of luck, but until next time.